are in bracket. And now let's go. Inkling versus Palutena. Now, ooh, okay. Uh, Palutena, <laughs> she kind of struggles with short characters, less than a lot of less than a lot of other characters, but being small is just so good in this game, and Inkling might not be the smallest, but she's definitely on the... Oh. Oh. She's small. She's so small, she's gone. Intent took 25 damage. Awesome. Feels like John had a certain rhythm starting off this game, uh, and that rhythm is just gone. I mean, it's hard to, like, bounce back from that sort of thing. Just losing a stock at... That was ridiculous. That was on like, what, 50? No, not again. Oh my god. I thought he was actually going to go for another down air. But I guess if you're, uh, if you're ahead by this much, you don't need to go for the really risky things. Then again, going for really risky things and having them work is how you really win games. Oh, I don't even... This looks like it might be three stock. I'm, I, I, I realize I am woefully uh, ill-informed about everything, but I think you should go Wii Fit Trainer. Or at the very least, me Sword Spider. Because this game is just, oh, a bit of a slaughter. All right, finally getting some jabs in. Inkling can kind of struggle to kill, but, you know, John is no stranger to dealing with that. Look at these guys go back and forth now. Numbers is finally getting a bit of momentum. That could be huge. Is he going to get the kill? He does with the up smash. He's just buried so long in there. And this is doable. That. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of say that with a sigh because it is doable, but it's not easy for Inkling. Inkling John basically has to, like Inkling's comeback mechanic is you don't get hit. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going for some. <gasps> no way. Oh, John went for something like that, and that down smash actually catching him. That's going to be it for game one. Wasn't a three stock, but it was pretty close. John's got his finger on his lips thinking about what he's got to do next. Maybe, they, maybe he just stays inkling, but, you know, approaches the matchup differently. Or maybe an entirely new character is order. Why do people just let Palutena go to PS2? Unless he's playing, uh, okay. I mean, okay, Inkling's all right on Pokemon Stadium too, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's just that Palutena just, it feels like she gets what's supposed to be a neutral stage. She actually gets things out of, so it's. <laughs> Numbers, please. Let's see if he can start off better this game. Uh, already he's starting off better because he's not dead at 30. Well, actually, he hasn't gotten to 30 yet. He can still die at 30. <laughs> this is John. I don't know what that means, but it means that... All right, he's actually keeping things even this time around. 41%, he has a lead. And John, when John Numbers has a lead, he can really... That's when you see his... Like, the way he picks apart an opponent. You know, approaching is... I mean, for the characters he plays, even Inkling... You know, kind of approaching can be difficult. Just because approaching in general is difficult. Wow, that down smash, if that had connected, that would have been Ripperino, but... Seems to be fine. Oh. Oh, nice job getting the back air before the auto radical can come out. And, oh, I thought we were going to see some really aggressive counter from Jen. Not counter the move, but, you know, counter with a move. But instead, he just prioritizes getting back to stage. That neutral air just lasts so long. I'm surprised he isn't trying to do that a little bit more. All right, I like the idea of that, like trying to essentially feign, force the opponent to go for a tech hop, uh, to buffer a ledge option and punish that. And that should be it, yep. Up smash connecting once more. John has 122% on him, but he has a lead. You know, right now, Jen is forced to approach, and we'll see whether, you know, his game plan changes and is effective enough to actually start to run away with this game, because, oh, Game one was not really, it wasn't his game to win. But this time, he has been working, Jen. And Jap is not only gonna do a lot of damage, it's also going to ink uh, Palutena. Which is, uh, he's fine. He's inkling. Oh, if that nair connected, he would have been less than fine, though. 
that back throw will be enough. Jen has taken 80, though. Not a great position for him to be in. And with some, uh, oh, yeah, if he actually caught that roller, that would have absolutely been Jen's death. And he's sort of just going for it now. Uh, he's pretty low on ink, so he decides to just run away and charge up. I like that. Throwing out the down B sort of more of a, uh, a follow the birdie mechanic is what I like to call it. We're like, follow the birdie, and then you actually hit him with something else. All right, well, John's thrown out a lot of birdies. They, they haven't really been working as of late, and his ink is starting to run kind of low. And I wouldn't say it's a problem, but now he's actually starting to be in his face a little bit more. All right. <laughs> John Numbers is starting to take a more aggressive angle. But it puts him on the ledge as a result. He gets off ledge pretty fine. Honestly, this game, I'm in, I've been impressed with how uh, John is able to get off ledge. But nonetheless, Jen, he's just such a consistent player. He is... He just finds... It just feels like he finds the right thing to do. Whether that's in terms of macro strategy, of, you know, figuring out, you know, overall, you know, how the opponent is approaching, you know, the game, the matchup, and adapting around that. Or even, like, tiny situations, being able to just, like, pick apart the moves that they're throwing out. Oh, man. Ah, uh, the life of a John. 187% down tilt kills, I guess. Eventually, something had to kill, right? Once again, John gets off the ledge for pretty free. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Jen if he's just sort of, you know, really putting things into his brain. Like a cachet. And now, I mean, if there is a game three, I would, I would actually say, even though John has been recovering off ledge pretty well, that uh, it would be, Jen would just actually do a pretty effective job of uh, ledge trapping him. Having another, like, match to sort of reset and reevaluate, you know, his options there. We also might not have a game three. I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's 99% on Palutena, but keep in mind, he died at, like, what, 200? Pretty close to it on the last stock. So if you think about it, they're, if they're both 100% away from dying, then they're both tied. John offstage without a jump. And once again, actually, I, I might be biting my tongue regarding the ledge trapping because it seems that John is still really effectively, like... Not getting locked down. Though he is just sort of going for this roller. I mean, the roller, it's, it's hard to punish. It's this move you gotta kind of respect, and at the same time, like, it's just, it's just difficult overall. Forward Token gonna be doing a... Sending Jen off stage once more. And the jabs, I don't know if that'll do it, Will. No, jab, probably jab doesn't kill. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Goes for back throw, but good DI. Knowing that back throw was kind of the, uh, the kill option that numbers would have gone for, he DIs for it properly, despite how fast it is. But this time a back throw, I think, will probably do it. No, it's actually the down throw, and the down throw doesn't do it. Oh my lord, this is actually still, Jen can take this game. 89% on numbers, and I want 100. If he goes off stage and gets a neutral air, is that it? Are you kidding me? Oh no, he's still alive, but oh. Now we're getting to the point where there are kill options available. Oh wow, getting pushed back by the jabs just enough that that dash attack didn't connect, but oh, is that it? The back air, finally. Wow, number, I'm, I'm impressed that numbers doesn't even pop off after that. After having like uh, be ahead and then have the game be that close, doesn't even doesn't, doesn't it's just it's just another day in the life. Okay, we actually had Smashville banned over Battlefield. Uh, I think probably just looking for more, less less stage room, possibly, uh, for numbers to run away. And also platforms can help Jen with platform extensions. Oh, let's see what they are. 
47%. Can I get a 50? Oh, there's a 5. I got a 50. Can I get a 60? And, okay, this, this is what I was talking about, where game three, the ledge trapping is going to get a lot more difficult from numbers. He was paying attention, recognized that numbers was doing a lot of these jump from ledge. <laughs> All right, that's one way to get him off you. Gets the grab back. They're going to put him way out there, but... <gasps> All right. 15. I, I'm t I don't... I don't know if it's the stage or just like that the confidence has gone back into Jen regarding the ledge trapping, but look how effective it's been. I haven't seen numbers get out of the corner in so long, and a footstool rec Oh, my. Oh, I think the footstool might have killed him. Kind of. Because it gave him more height than he was. And maybe he, like, jumped, buffered up B, and, well, regardless, now we have even stocks. An unfortunate SD that came out, from, uh, out of that from Jen. But if you were SD, if you went, if you SD and the game's still even, then not the worst thing in the world for you. The Omega Perry. Alright, just paint the town red, you know? Paint, paint the Palutena red. That's... <laughs> you know, getting inked by that much means he has to be considerably worried. Numbers has been uh, kind of voluntarily putting himself on ledge, but it seems to be alright because for the past while he's actually been getting off ledge much more effectively. So if that's an escape option that works, then, you know, go for it. Numbers was forced to charge Ink, putting him in the corner, putting him in that situation where it was basically free pressure for Jen. After getting a down throw back air, now we have John at 120% just about. He has to start being scared about the options Palutena has to kill. I don't know if there's anything just raw from neutral that would finish him. I don't think back air or anything like that. Uh, maybe now. Oh, back throw. I am sorely mistaken. Yeah, no, that back throw at the ledge is just so powerful. Oh, I don't know if he had a jump. Oh, he actually two frames him with the uh, with the splatter shot. I don't know which one that is. I have never actually played Splatoon. They're all splatter shot. <laughs> That's not true. The, is the ink roller a splatter shot? I don't think so. I mean, I do think maybe is it is it like they transform into a ink roller? I don't know. Regardless, uh, <laughs> John is praying for a roller right now. 227% on Jen, and he's alive and kicking. Oh, man. Just yeah, looking for these back airs, looking for something. But he's still trying to play safe. But, you know, going into the air is something that we Inkling likes to do. And even though it was kind of risky, Jen went and challenged it with the dash attack and gets chip damage. More and more chip damage means that even if Numbers takes this next stock, which I don't even know if he is going to do, that's it, the two stock. He was just, Don was just not able to finish it. He was not able to take out the second stock that Jen had. Like 227 and it's just not enough. Oh, that was fantastic spacing. I'm glad we got the replay and the slowdown. Just really go, really take a look at it and go deep in, like just the, the awareness. Knowing that John was going to throw out that option, he catches him.